right, man. Welcome to the Switch Up, presented by Playhouse Studios and your boy, Mr. HQ Films. Hey, what's your name? My Heavy Chevy. Okay, okay, Heavy Chevy. What this, what's the name of the song you brought to us today? Uh, the song I brought to y'all today is uh, Pop That. It's one of my singles. That's, uh, I'm just not coming up. It's unreleased, and it's coming for my EP. Okay, okay. Give me that first four balls one more time for him. All right. All she want to do is twerk on here, like set the real light, shake that ass, and don't be scared, little bitch, that pussy pink. I buy this shit. Woo. So when you say that, you buy this shit, man. What you mean by that? Mine, where I come from, in Memphis, they already know what be going on. Everybody be stunned. And see, it's really the city of stun. So, like, where we come from, that's basically a big flex to let a female know, mine. It ain't shit to mine. Big shit popping, little shit stopping around here type shit. For sure, for sure, <laughs> for sure. Y'all the pimp state anyway, for real, for real. Oh, yeah, you already know what's going on exactly. there. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all the pimp state. That's where it originated at, ain't it? Hell yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Hey, man, so tell me one thing you love about Memphis, man. Man, I ain't gonna lie. The Southern hospitality. I done been a couple places. I done been out west. I done been out east. But I ain't nothing like that Southern hospitality. We know how to treat people right, even though we get a little nasty. But we still know how to treat people right down there. What's the most craziest thing you ever seen living in Memphis? Man, I pulled up at a family dollar, bro. The craziest thing I ever seen. I pull up at the family dollar. Some, I guess somebody was stealing at the family dollar. The employee come out. Beating the, the crap out of whoever was stealing at that motherfucker. Uh -huh. The lady, she hopped in her car after getting her ass beat, hopped back out to fight again. A crackhead pulled up, walked up, hopped in the lady's car, and drove out. That's the craziest <laughs> shit I ever seen in my city. <laughs> that sounds like a movie scene right there. Yeah, yeah, I couldn't believe this. I couldn't even record it. It was so unbelievable. I couldn't even get my phone out. I was just stuck in the days, man. That's crazy. Crackhead pulled off in somebody's car. Man. That's crazy. So, um, you say you um, travel to Atlanta a lot? Yeah, I'll be back and forth to the A, back and forth to LA a lot. Okay, okay. What you like about LA? My shit. Women weed and weather. That's how they got out there. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's nice. It, it's a different scene. You know, we ain't got too many beaches out here down south. Yeah. Shit. It's nothing to be said. You know what I'm saying? For sure, for <laughs> sure. So, being that you from, you say you from Memphis, right? Yeah. Name me the top five. This is overall your top five rappers out of Memphis. Dead or alive, top five overall. My top five. Just Memphis rappers. I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna cap. I fuck with the, the, the individual like flow and style of the YTB fat nigga. He making the same. Okay. Up in up in Memphis for sure, for sure. Okay. And then I gotta pay homage to my little cousin, uh, Pay Pat. You know he doing his thing, Walker Flocker. So shit. Okay. Uh, I like I fuck with them. Then okay. you know, if they ain't number one, number two type shit. They just in the on, in on the list. I say number okay. one, bro. Especially mine when he kicked the bucket. They really put the icing on the cake. I fuck with Dolph Longway. Okay. And mine said, I ain't got nothing with the beef. I fuck with Gotti. He he did a lot for the city and, and put a lot of folks on in the city for sure. So okay, that four. Mine that four. And I ain't gonna leave myself out. Come coming soon. She heavy shivy. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what inspired this song that you just dropped today? Oh my I ain't gonna count. Shit. I, I I noticed like in my city, we like to turn up. The women like to shake their ass. And the niggas like to come out to see the women shake their ass. For when sure. it, I'm talking about from Glow Rilla to where she dropped, from what Big Boogie his whole way. Shit. I just had to go on man, get my get my little foot in. For sure. It's a whole different vibe too. Like, cause you know everybody on the shoot 'em up bang bang type of music right now. The op music they calling it right now. Yeah, yeah. And for you to bring something to give a good energy, you know what I mean? A positive energy. It ain't just about killing somebody. You feel yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, man. So that's a good, that's a good wave right there, man. What 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 inspired you to, to change it up though, like to not follow the wave of what's going on right now because she is an artist you got to know how to stick out and be an individual you know what i'm saying like shit that's what it's all about being an artist ain't about doing what the nicks picasso doing it's about being your own picasso so shit i'm just trying to create my own way you say you come to atlanta a lot what you like about atlanta man my shit 
the my it really like second home y'all ain't too much different from from Memphis. y'all get a little nasty but y'all got this southern hospitality and y'all like to turn the fuck up that's that's real atlanta right there that's real atlanta yeah, i don't yeah. know about this new atlanta but that's real atlanta you got any interest in acting or anything mine no but uh a lot of folks don't know i'm also pursuing an mma career i'm a pro fighter so mm. i fight in the cage oh that's dope tell me a little bit yeah. about that uh, shit, How long I you been doing off? that? Oh, shit, my bad. I started off uh, doing martial arts. I say when I was like five, I used to just sit in front of the TV, watch the Power Rangers, watch the wrestling, doing the moves. And my mom was like, man, I got to put them in something. And unlike football or basketball, she put me in it. And she, I really was, I had a neck for it. You know, ever since then, I, it's just been like shit, sleeping and eating. Mm. So how long you been doing MMA, though? Uh, I've been doing MMA for I say about the past six years now. Woo. So you in like the real professional league? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm trying to make some some bread off this shit too, for sure. Oh, <laughs> for sure, for sure. Oh, and I hope you know what I'm saying if I blew up off this shit, I hope I don't get like no celebrity fight, man. I'm gonna beat the shit. <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> How many fights you done did so far? Oh uh, my, for my uh, MMA record, so I'm currently trying to go pro. I'm trying to close out on my amateur record, but I ain't got no losses right now. So you know what I'm saying? If I can win me a belt and move on to pro, shit, that's where I can start making that bread, getting the money from the shit. Mm, okay, okay. So you hear about the, you heard about the the Trump Donald Trump situation? Yeah, kind of yeah. heard about it a little bit. I ain't heard too much about it, man. This shit cry. I heard he down here, ain't it? Yeah, man. He had to turn himself in to Fulton County. Mine. Yeah. He at home with them boys. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Atlanta with Crump, man. Off of that. My, no I, think, I think they should free the mine. They gonna free him. He was out probably like the next five minutes. He probably okay, just walked okay. in, took a picture, and came back up. All right, okay. Bro. On some rich shit. All right, yeah, I you already know. Because they said his bond was like 200000 No. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's chump change for him you know yeah, what i mean yeah. like he probably said man huh, here go y'all money let me the fuck up out of here <laughs> like yeah, take y'all a little yeah. picture i know y'all want to say i was here i'm out of here he know what it's about it's just a business he know yeah. what's going on facts facts yeah yeah they trying to mess up the election yeah yeah okay slam their name type shit throw his election out okay. exactly they trying my boy man you like to travel you ever been out of the country mine nah i ain't never been out of the country I too much ain't even been out the city unless it been on fighting or the music on bidding. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. So hopefully shit, this will take me about the out the country one day, you know what I'm saying? For sure. On some international shit. What you do for like vacation time? Shit, well shit, I'm married. I, I vacation at the house, you know what I'm saying? I ain't even go care. Wherever wherever I'm at, it's a vacation. I, got, I, I like my life. <laughs> oh, all, right, all right. How long you been doing music? Let's get back to the music. <laughs> I was doing that before I was fighting. Uh, my, my mama put me in the choir at church since I was like, shit, it's since I could start forming words. Then she married my stepfather when I was five. And he been doing music. He had a recording studio at the house. He taught me how to rap, had me in there. I took off with the rap and the singing. So, hey, stay tuned for the singing, too. I got a whole RB collection and a whole lot coming, for sure. So you a singer too? Yeah, yeah. I got this, oh, that, this singing soul that. for sure. Yeah. You ain't tell us that. Yeah, it's on the way. That's for so the EP. You got songs EP. already locked in as a singer. Like, um, I got down there like, I got like two albums waiting for sure, for sure. Just recorded on wax. Ooh. What's your flavor as far as R and B? So since you we, we ain't heard nothing. So if you can compare yourself to any R and B artist. Who would you compare yourself to? Mine. So it'll kind of give us an idea of what we can expect. I say as far as like my range and my level, I say shit. My strength and my range and my level, I sound old school like a genuine type shit. But my style is new school. Like I got a Brent Fires feel to my shit. You know what I'm saying? Some shit a lot of folks can relate to. It, it kind of ain't going to be like no one-sided type of R&B. Everybody going to fuck with it. I know for sure. Okay. Okay. So who your favorite R&B artist out, that's out right now? Man, look. Don't don't, don't look at me bad, y'all. Everybody be hard on my boy I Kelly. But I fuck with I Kelly. He, he, oh, my God. <laughs> he did his thing, man. Hey, he R &B, greatest. For sure. R&B. You can't take that away from it. Nobody in the world got more hits than him. Mine. 
Nobody. You got to take the head off to him, bro. He did his thing. Outside or whatever the fuck he got going, everybody got yeah. their own life. And mine was a great, for sure. But just like you just named Brent Fayez, currently, give me give me a few current artists that you vibing with right now. That okay. you'll tell, like, hey, man, you, you should check this person out. Man, it's an up-and-coming artist, for sure. And he from Memphis. R&B. R&B. He cold. In that like Rico two times. I'm gonna tag him in, in, in when we post this and everything. He he hot for sure. He just got a mind. Build the fan base up. He, he gonna be on the same song for sure. Give me somebody else. Uh let me see. That you listening to. That I'm listening to. Yeah. My I ain't gonna care. I've been going to my roots lately. I've been fucking with a lot of Neo Soul, like Jill Scott. Okay. Uh I've been okay. fucking with Jadman Sullivan. I like that run pattern. It give me like that new flavor when I'm trying to add like new sound to my music. So, gotcha. you know what I'm saying? I, I can sing. I ain't no nigga that can sing. You know what I'm saying? I can sing. So okay. I'm trying to bring that heat. Okay. 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 So you don't really be rocking with the new R&B artists. You ain't listening to no Summer Walker, none of them type <sighs> for like, like even, uh, what's, what's our other boy name? Uh, uh, you got Brent and then you got, uh, Giveon. I ain't gonna care. I'm glad you, you meant to give you on. I fuck with give you on down there tougher than I fuck with Brent as far as like mine. He's got a, a strong ass voice. Exactly. Now he make you want to go go to the house and practice a little bit. That's why I say he got strong ass voice for sure. For sure. That's what I'm saying. Like, they ain't be somebody. Yeah, yeah. Hey, I asked somebody else this, bro. Like, I asked them, like, who, who your top five rappers? And it was kind of easy. Like, yeah. nigga went through that with a breeze, but. Can't nobody really name they top five R and B artists. My, I say my top my top artists. They have to be, it have to be a mix of old school and new school, and then it'll it'll mostly then there be women. If I like my top artist, who would, who your top five would be? My my top five women R and B number one, Jad Masilla. Okay, cause she That's still do shit right to up. this day. I can't do so. Yeah. <laughs> I say Jad Masilla for sure. Uh, Jamie Sullivan. Then I have to go with. I like her. Her. She mellow. Okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? She ain't trying to do do too much. She do her thing. I like her. And uh, who else? I fuck with Summer Walk. Okay. She good. She she bring. You know what I'm saying? A three. She bring that little sex appeal with with her whole little you know ambiance. Okay. Uh, who else? Shit. Then I'm I'm gonna have to go and finish out with my lad old old my old school. It'll have to be Jill Scott. Okay. Four. And then it'll have to be. To four so far. In the Ari for sure. Ooh. And she down there number one. I, I fuck with that Neo Soul. Yeah, sure. that Neo Soul right there. For real, for real. You took it back. That's a tough five right there. Yeah. I'm rocking with it. I'm rocking with it. <laughs> for sure. I think the people might agree with that one. That's a tough five okay. right there. Yeah. But Jamie Falk, he needs to start making some more music Ooh. for sure, bro. Nah, he need to link back up with Kanye. Yeah. When he linked with Kanye, that album, bro, that was his greatest album. But ever, don't you know, bro. like, bro, he had an interview about the album. You know, this shit was a mistake. He kind of, like, muscled his way in on it, and that's how he kind of, like, took off with the, with the R&B. Yeah. Okay, crazy how, like, you can make and a he played the piano. Okay, he was talented. Comedy, yeah. piano, yeah. acting. Yeah, nah, he tough. That's a, he definitely a good singer. And he know how to change his voc his his vocal tone. Yeah, like yeah. for him to sound like goddamn Ray Charles, bro, that was different. That was yeah, different. Yeah. That's one that's one person you just can't put in the box type shit. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You can't put rare. him in the box for sure. Cause he literally sung a lot of those songs just like Ray Charles, bro. Just like him, bro. You may he made for a second, bro. He made for think he was Ray Charles. <laughs> For real, hey, man, no, cap. Think he right no cap, man. <laughs> For sure. He acted the hell out that part. Yeah, yeah. That was a good. What's one of your favorite movies since we just mentioned that Ray Charles, John? What's one of your uh, favorite movies that's. Man, you know, I ain't gonna cap. I'm, I'm kind of like an a animation freak. I kind of like Marvel and DC type shit. So mm. it'll have to be the latest one. It, it definitely had to be that uh, multiverse with Spider Man. For Ooh, sure. For sure. That's a good pick. That's yeah, a good yeah. pick. I like those movies too, though. Yeah, I fuck with good. Transformers, all those. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, all that. Um, give me a fit. You got it. You fuck with scary movies? Mine. Hell no. 
I'm, I'm, I'm with shaky you on as that. Hell. I'm with you on that, bro. I ain't trying to scare myself. That's why I stick to the action around this month. Yeah, I want to see them get shot before I see <laughs> ghosts come behind them. You know what I mean? I don't know where or not. Hell nah. But yeah, yeah, man, we appreciate you coming out, man. Uh, tell the people where they can find you at. On all the platforms they can find you Man, y'all can find me at Heavy Shivy. It's Shivy with an E at the end, not a Y, because everybody fucked it up. So <laughs> find me at Heavy Shivy. Uh, I got a lot of stuff coming soon. Stay out. Stay, you know, stay on the lookout for this single. It's going to be mine. The start to some big for this EP I'm dropping. So stay tuned. All right, for sure, man. Again, man, we appreciate you stopping by the switch up. Presented by Playhouse Studios and your boy, Mr. HQ, man. Mine for sure, for sure. Let's go, let go. We gone.